welcome to Stampin' Up! with Jamie. Thank you so much for joining me today over on YouTube, or if you're catching this on replay, I really appreciate it. I am running a smidge late, so as I talk, I'm just going to um, put my different images <laughs> on blocks. I was having lunch with my kids and running a little late, so I apologize that I'm not completely ready, but this is the card I'm going to make. If you follow me on Facebook, you will know that I shared this the other day because I stamped all the images on, and then, like, all the birdhouses, and I it was all just, you know, black ink. I hadn't colored it yet, and then I really liked it, and I didn't almost want to color it. <laughs> I really liked it on the just kind of plain side. And so I put it out there on Facebook. I was like, should I leave it plain or should I color it? And everyone but one person said I should color it. <laughs> so I guess I'm a little like peer pressure because I colored it. Um, but I don't know. I, I'm going to switch things up just a little bit. I don't know which one I'm going to end up liking more, this one or the one I'm going to do for you today. Um, but either way, um, you'll have two options as to sort of the design and look that you would like to go with. Um, hey, Karen. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, what else? Sorry, I've completely run out of blocks. I guess I'm using a lot of these images. <laughs> um, but, okay. The other thing is I was running a little... I mean, not, I wasn't running, but my memento black was, I don't know, it feel, felt like it needed to be refilled. So I literally just refilled it, which is like a big no-no, especially like right before you go live. So um, we'll have to see. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't completely just botch it up. So let's dive in and I'll tell you kind of the things that I'm going to switch up. Not huge changes, just like little ones. And you'll have to let me know, like I said, um, which one you like more. And I'm realizing I don't have my phone folder out. What did I do with it? Oh, my goodness. Ladies, it's it's bad. This is it's just so bad. How can I never remember my bone folder? And I had it earlier, but now I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Found it. Whew. I'm like, I knew I had it. Okay, my card is starting off with Thick Whisper White. And the same for this one here is Thick Whisper White. Whenever you're using white as a card base, I would highly recommend using the Thick Whisper White because it has a little bit more oomph and weight to it. It will hold up a little bit better. And so I cut this at four and a quarter by 11 and I scored it at five and a half. And this is going to be sort of like the base of my card on which everything gets um, built off of. Um, then I have two panels. When I, I love to mat. Rarely do I do a card that it doesn't have some sort of matting in it. I'm kind of like addicted. <laughs> and, um, but sometimes I don't want to throw another color of cardstock in it. Um, but I still want the matting. And so I just do like a white on white mat. And that's what I've done today. Um, if you follow my blog, if you've seen my cards, you know, I don't love a ton of color. I usually am like a three maximum four colors on a card kind of person. And so all these colors, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot add another color. Um, and so I just did a little white on white matting. So one panel of the white is three by five and a half. And then the other one that it gets matted on is three and one eighth by five and a half. So it, they're the same height, just one is one eighth uh, wider. And first, I'm just going to kind of create my scene here, and I'm using the Garden Birdhouses stamp set. This is brand new in the new annual catalog that went live earlier in May, and it's really fun. I think it just has, like, different images, and um, it reminds me of my mom a lot because she loves birdhouses. She's always had them. Um, she loves feeding the birds and there's one right outside their back porch of uh, house and every spring they have babies and it's just a lot of fun. So I knew I wanted to get this set and I think you can do a lot with it. I think you could just use like the flowers by themselves with a couple birds standing in them. Um, you can have kind of this landscape look. I also created this card that I thought I'd share, which is just the hanging birdhouses, um, a much simpler design. Uh, but it has the stitched greenery dies that I used to give it a little bit of extra detail. Um, so depending on like what you're looking to do, I feel like you can do a lot 
with this set. I really like it. And I think you are going to as well. So I am going to take that three by five and a half and just create my scene. And again, I hope my memento black cooperates because I just re-inked it, which is such not a good idea. I mean, it was just such a bad idea to do it like right before a live and not let the ink sit in, settle in. But what are you going to do? Okay. So um, I'm going to try and replicate it, but honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it perfectly. So we're just going to kind of wing it. This is the branch. Again, for the branch, you could have it just like as a detail on the top, like I used. Okay. Or like that other card I showed you, you could use it as a detail from which the birdhouses hang. And you'll see that the stamp set has a little, whatever you want to call this string, whatever to hang it, or you have the post. Okay. I just got a notification from YouTube that I am live. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> a little late, but appreciate it. Um, okay. So then I'm going to use the post and I totally didn't put that on straight. Not that I need it straight, but let's make it a little straighter. Um, and I'm going to do two of my, I, I should just leave that out. Two of the birdhouses. So I'm going to ink it up. When I'm using the Memento ink, I like to go opposite. Normally I would stamp it this way, right? stamp to ink but with the memento it's that old kind of um style ink pad so i like to go kind of the opposite so i don't know we're gonna put this guy here and then the second uh birdhouse i wanted him shorter but i also still wanted this kind of white space at the bottom and so i just took i don't know this is like a scrap <laughs> it literally is a scrap so i'm gonna put that over my cardstock and then ink up my the same image, but this one stamp it shorter and it's gonna cut it off for me. Ta -da. Okay, now we're gonna do our birdhouses. There are three and it's funny, someone mentioned it on my blog, Debbie mentioned it on my blog today and it's true. If you look in the, in the catalog, they're, they're reverse, they're flip. So, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but you are going to see that the image, the birdhouse images are reverse. I don't think it really matters, but in case you're looking at it going, hey, that's facing differently. Ooh, I stamped that a lot higher than in my sample card. Or the branches, I guess I stamped lower. You know why? Because when I did my sample, I stamped my birdhouses first and then my branch. <laughs> that's probably why. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. As long as they all get on here, it, oops, it is all good. And I am glad I re-inked my memento because it is much better. Okay, our second birdhouse. This is why I liked it black and white. Isn't that, I don't know. I just love it, just black and white. I was really hoping some, would, some of you would chime in and go, no, black and white is fine. Don't color it. Because if it was for me, I would have left it black and white. But I guess I bent to peer pressure and uh, <laughs> colored it. <laughs> okay, so in the stamp set, there are a couple of different images. You have two images. One's a little bunchier. There's more of the flowers. And then the other one only has two flowers. I'm going to stamp that. You'll see in my sample, stamp, stample, that's not a word, sample that my grass kind of goes, zoop. I didn't stamp it straight. So I'm going to try, try and do it better this time around. So one of your flower images has like more and this one has less, but you have two of those. And then you have a grass image, which I'm going to do after I'm done doing all my flowers because I'm going to work the grass around, around these images here. And then I'm going to do one more. This flower, I'm going to just kind of have it poking. Oh, like it's going to be mostly hanging off, but over there in the corner. Okay, perfect. We're done with those. Now the grass. Oh, I did it again too. Doesn't it look like, zoop, like it's, apparently I can't stamp grass straight. <laughs> so that one's kind of hanging off. This one's like right there. It's just kind of like a filler image more than anything. There we go. Kind of want a little bit right there, but it's not going to happen. Okay. 
So that's that. And oh, you know what? Houston, we have a problem. I should have done this first. I was going to stamp the birth. Well, will it fit? Oh my goodness. Look at that. It might just perfectly fit. I was going to stamp for my card, the sample. I stamped a welcome, but I was going to make it a birthday card and do the birthday wishes. And I thought I made it too tight, but I might just perfectly have the amount of space. So you know, in hindsight, every time I do a live tutorial, I'm always like, do as I say and not as I do kind of a thing. Um, when you're making this, I would stamp everything low, including the sentiment, and then do this branch last. Because you can always have the branch literally just kind of doing a little peekaboo at the top and not have it so far down. Um, and make sure that you have room for everything else. And not like me where you're like, I'm not sure this is all going to fit. Okay, I'm going to do the sentiment. Oof, man, that's like a smidge shorter and that would not have fit. I would have had to go in with the hello. Okay, there's our scent of it. Isn't that so nice black and white? I love black and white. See me, I'm trying to convince everybody and I think no one's buying it. <laughs> I'm really trying to convince you like, isn't this just really pretty? This was my thought. And maybe since you see kind of the designer paper that I used, you're like, oh yeah, black and white. I was going to go with the black and white striped. And so if I had kept it black and white, it literally would have just been like a black and white card. And I really like black and white. I think it's just kind of stunning and it pops. Um, so maybe if you see this, you're like, yeah, maybe just leave it black and white. But alas, that's not what happened. Okay, so we are going to color. And this is one of the things I'm going to switch up. I'm going to switch up colors and then we'll decide which one we like more because honestly... I don't know which one I'm going to like more. And I figured I have the opportunity to do it again. So let's switch up the colors a little bit. For the branches, I'm going to use mint macaron. It's not a true green. I get that. But I want to use this designer paper. So instead of the true love black and white, I'm going to use the... the, 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 the oh, what is it called? Pen... Hold on, hold on. Oh, I don't have my catalog down here. Sugars. I don't have, I brought my catalog upstairs. Um, well, it's a new designer paper in the catalog. <laughs> pen something, pen, I don't know, pen petals or petal pens, <laughs> something like that. So anyways, that's why I'm going the mint macaron because that's kind of um, the color there. That was my, and I know it's not really, you know, your leaves don't really have this color, but it's art and we can do what we want. I'm only going to use the brush end and I'm gonna do a very messy color on purpose. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm doing it on purpose. It's kind of it's kind of everywhere. Even in our stamping, there's lots of images in the hand stamped petals, for example, where it's two-step stamping, but the second part of it, the filler, isn't um, it doesn't fit exactly. It's kind of artistic. And so I thought, let's just stick with that. And we're going to, that's how we're going to color. And I'm just using right now the light mint macaron, the brush end. It makes it go on really easily. And I'm just being kind of messy on, about it. And I'm doing that on purpose. It may not be your style. And if it isn't, just take more time and be more, uh, purposeful about it. But I kind of liked the artistic look. This is the dark mint macaron and I'm literally like just dabbing a little dark hues everywhere to give a little bit of contrast. I'll show you in just a second. No rhyme or reason to it, just literally throw it on. Okay, it's very subtle. Mint macaron is a very light color, but like I said, we're gonna try it and then we'll go from there to see which one you guys like more. Um, for my flowers, I thought I would go with the new polished pink in my card. So in my card, I used granny apple green, the light crumb cake, the dark crumb cake, the light daffodil delight, the dark daffodil delight, and then fresh freesia down here with gar uh, granny apple green at the bottom. And I thought, yeah, let's try a different color. So polished pink. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, and I got it on myself. This is, <laughs> it's bright. It's certainly bright. I wanted, oops, I think that was a leaf that I just colored a flower. 
I wanted very bright, although mint macaron isn't, but oh, I just colored another leaf, I think. I think that was a leaf too that I just colored um, like a flower. And again, I'm being messy about it and I'm kind of doing it on purpose. It's kind of the look I'm going for. So if you're not into coloring or you feel like maybe you just don't have an eye for it, this might be a style for you to try, which is just kind of messy coloring where you just kind of throw it on. You're not trying to stay in the lines or do like perfect coloring and shading. You're literally just throwing it on. Okay. Then for my trees, I mean, not my trees, my birdhouses, I thought I would stick with the Daffodil Delight and throw some pool party in. Now, again, like I said earlier, I am a minimal color person. I just don't like a lot of color. But if we're going to go for it, let's go for it. And I think I'm going to switch it. I'm going to do the house in yellow. And this is my, yeah, making sure it's the light one. The house in yellow and the roof in crumb cake. Again, I don't know. We I could get done with this and go, that was a horrible idea. The other one is so much better. <laughs> but you'll have to let me know. Yeah, oops, as I totally kill the end of my brush there. And I am so not a yellow person. So the fact that I even like thought of taking this color and using it, whew, it's a stretch. Okay. And then I want the light one. The brush ends of these markers make coloring bigger spaces so so much easier you can just cover a lot of space quicker and easier which i love i love the stampin blends i'm a huge 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 fan um just a reminder that we have a couple of sales going on right now um first up we have the join plus is where you get the starter kit for $99, but for right now, you get $155 worth of product, which is a huge savings in and of itself, but then it ships for free, which is another $15 worth of savings. And um, the opportunity to save on future purchases as well. You can save a minimum of 20% off on all uh, products. So clearance, bundles, um, the stamp cut and emboss machine, you can save that 20%. Um, which is great and never any pressure to sell. So I have ladies um, all across the United States. We have a lot of fun. I just love these ladies so, so much. And I've just enjoyed getting to know them that I would never, I would never have met them otherwise, which I just think is really kind of fun and cool. And some of them just enjoy the discount for their hobby and like to save a buck. And some of them want to earn a buck and they um, run it more as a business. But whatever, you know, you're looking for, um, I would love to have you on the team to be part of the Stampin' Up! family, uh, just to have fun. You enjoy my company, Karen. You're funny. Karen's on my team. Um, I think we have a lot of fun. And I've welcomed a couple new ladies this month already, and we would love to join. have you join as well. Um, whether you're looking, again, to save a buck or earn a buck. Um, it's just a great family to be a part of. Okay, so that was pool party. Oh, I don't know if I like that, to be honest. <laughs> so much color. Where's Karen? Karen teases me. She likes to use a lot of color, and I'm more of like, let's keep things monochromatic <laughs> and like black and white. <laughs> That's more my, my more my speed. So this is definitely pushing me a little outside the box, which is all good. And sometimes you have to try new things. Okay, we're gonna call that done. That is so much color. That is so, it's pushing me. It's all good. I can do this. Okay, and I lost my, there it is, my adhesive. I kind of need my adhesive, minor detail. Okay, so this is gonna get adhered on that three and one eighth by five and a half um, panel. And the other sale before I forget, because I get talking and then I lose all track of what I want to say, um, is that when you are, if you're placing an order, um, either you're doing a workshop or you're, you're just placing the order of over $250 right now, you earn an extra $25 in rewards. And what are rewards? Free product. 
Um, so it's a great opportunity if you have a friend, a daughter, a mother, someone that you can go in on an order with to reach those extra uh, rewards. I highly recommend it. $25 that can get you a stamp set, that can get you a couple packs of um, designer paper, a ton of ribbon, and just a lot, a lot you can do with that. So couple of promotions. It's kind of interesting because when you think of Stampin' Up, you think of like spending money, um, but it's actually some really great opportunities to save money. And I, I don't know, I love saving a buck. If I can find a coupon code or whatever, um, I'm all over that. So I wanted to let you know about that. So here we go. This is, this is what we're at. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. They're different. They're different. The designer paper really makes a huge difference. Um, let's see here. What do I have? I have some of the velvet. I was trying to think if I had any mint macaron because I have a little peekaboo of the fresh freesia kind of poking through there. Um, I have that, but I don't know if I want to do that. I wish I had non-sparkly black. If I had straight up non-sparkly black, uh, maybe I just won't put any ribbon. Maybe we won't do any ribbon. We're not going to do any ribbon. <laughs> We're not gonna, I just made the call, like right now. We're not gonna make, we're not gonna add ribbon. I think I'm gonna have it flush to the left. I want more, there's lighter hues on this side. This is a little darker and I want, I prefer the lighter. So I'm gonna put that kind of flush to the left. Okay. And then we have the inside, which is funny because this one I didn't do the inside. Maybe I'll just do like the flowers along the bottom again. What do you think? Would that look nice? Let's try that. Or maybe at least just like a couple of them along the bottom. I've been trying so hard and being good about stamping the inside of my cards. I'm not always perfect, as I can, as you can see in my sample one I completely forgot. Um, but we'll just do a couple, maybe like that. And then the grass. Where's the grass? See how this easily, you don't even need like the birdhouses. If you just like did this along your card front um, with some pretty paper and color it really pretty. Like you don't even have to do the birdhouses. I feel like this has a lot of potential and just a lot you can do with it. Oh, maybe I'll stamp. Maybe I'll stamp the little bird. Should we stamp the little bird? Which one is that? I, got, I want the one facing that way. This one. Okay, hold on, let me get my grass off the stamp without completely getting covered in ink. Can I stamp the little birdie? I think I'm gonna stamp the little birdie. Although I have no clue what to color him. I have no, let's see here, we'll have him walking around the bottom. Oh, how cute is that? I love that you get three different birds, which is fun because you can do like different things with them. You can have them like standing on the birdhouses, standing on the branch, standing on the grass really fun things okay because I colored these pink I'm gonna stick with the pink like so okay and because I stamped the grass and mint macaron we're gonna stick with that one I'm gonna go a little heavy handed heavier handed because you can't it definitely is more muted as it compared to like the granny apple green that I used in the sample Doot, 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 doot. And then the bird, maybe yellow. What do we think about a yellow bird? Maybe just yellow along his back, keeping his belly white. And I'm just going to get a little bit. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, so that's the front. I did add a couple of... The jewels, fresh freesia jewels. Maybe I'll add pearls. Hold on, let me see if I can find my pearls. I do love me some pearls. I mean, let's just face it. I love the pearls. I love the rhinestones. I use them all the time. And I can't find my take your pick tool. <laughs> I'm honestly not so disorganized. Um, but it feels that way. The yellow finch. Oh, there you go. That's what it is. A yellow finch. That's what we're going with. <laughs> not purposely done, but that's what we're going to go with. Okay, I'm going to add just the pearls, like, kind of hidden in the flowers here. So they're not too, too obvious. It's kind of like a subtle detail. 
but I love subtle details. Those are actually like my absolute favorite when you don't see something, that pearl just came off, didn't it? When you don't see something like outright and it's kind of like hidden a little bit. So, okay, so there you have it. I think I do too, Karen. I think I like this one more. This one, maybe I should have just left black and white. <laughs> Leave this one black and white and then do one colored with a really like a pop of color um, for the designer paper in the background. So there you have it. Again, using the Garden Birdhouses stamp set. Um, if you're interested in placing an order and getting it, you can go to jamieb.com and you'll find all my, it's kind of like my catch-all links over there. J-A-I-M-I-E-B.com. Um, if you're interested in joining, want more information, let's have a talk. I'd love to get more information to you and help you in any way I can. I'm here to serve. I'm here to help you. Um, please reach out. I would love to connect. Thank you, everyone, so, so much for watching today. Um, oh, next week, I will not be here. Next week's will be canceled. Um, I'm going to be in North Carolina with my feet in the sand and soaking up some sun. So we're going on vacation. So all my lives are canceled next week week. So I will be back in two weeks and we'll see you then. Thanks everyone for joining today. Have a great rest of your day.